Hi, this is Brent Arnold, and today I want to show you the difference between creating your own buttons versus using the button component that's found in Flash. Now, the tendency is to jump right in and start throwing components all over the place, and the first thing you'll notice is that your file size, the file, the size of the Swift file, will start to become extremely bloated when you use all of these many components. Now, I use components in other projects, but I would strongly encourage you to create your own buttons. You're going to find that creating your own buttons, you have a lot more control over the way they look and work versus using the button component. Let me demonstrate. First, I'm going to go to Window, go to Components, and I'm going to drag a button component, an instance of the button component, onto the stage. Now, all I'm going to do is show you what this does. All I've done is put the button in it. I don't have any other animations. We just have one frame. I'm going to press Control Enter. Now, what we see here, first of all, if you do not see this, this uh, panel, it's under View and it's called Bandwidth Profiler. So if I choose Bandwidth Profiler, Streaming Graph, that's a little different uh, feature. But the point is, this gives us information about our movie. And right now we're sitting at 26 kilobytes, or 27,195 bytes. Close that out. I'm going to go New, New Flash Document, and I'm going to create my own button. Let me close this out. I'm going to choose the Rectangle tool, and I'm going to choose Corner Radius. I'm going to set this to 10. Click OK. I'm going to change my color so you can see. And I'm just going to draw myself a button. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the use of these tools, other tutorials that I have will show you how to use those. For now, I'm just going to dive right in, create a button, and show you the difference in file size. Let's go ahead and choose text. I'm going to put some text here, change the color. We're going to call it button. Press V to get here. I'm going to select this and I move it up just a little. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. I'm going to select everything. I'm going to right click on the item, click convert to symbol. We're going to call it a button and we'll just call it iBrent. Okay, now there's my button. What we have is a button. Now, notice over here in this button. If I press Control Enter, I have some button states. When I when I highlight over it, you can see that it highlights that puke green, and when I click on it, it kind of goes gray. So let me add a very similar features so that we're comparing the two buttons. I'm going to double click the button. It's going to open up, and I have the up, over, down, and hit states. If I click on the down state. I right click and I insert keyframe and then I'm going to change the colors. I'm going to come over to the color library and let's just change that to white. I'm going to select the text, change that to black. And now I have a up state and over state. Now I'm going to come over here and create a down state. I insert, I right clicked on the frame choose insert keyframe and now I'm going to change this color I don't know we'll just to a dark gray change the text to white okay so all I've done is I've created an up state a down state over state sorry and a down state so three different looks to that button if I click back you'll see that I have the same button if I press test movie control enter notice ladies and gentlemen here we are I am sitting at 319 bytes for one button and notice I have the same feature button now the hit states a little off but we'll fix that in a second but notice I have a button and it is 321 bytes compared to do you remember the component 
is 26 kilobytes or 27 195 bytes. If I come over here and I grab my calculator, 27 195 divided by what was that first number? You're probably yelling it at me and I can't hear you. It is 319 divided by 319 85 times smaller or I should say the component is 85 times larger. Now it this ratio is not a set ratio. It'll change over time as you add more material. But hopefully you get the idea. Stick with creating your own buttons. Please.